Hey boxing fans, I'm on my way out the door to cover the IBF super middleweight champion, Caleb Plant Media Day. He's gonna be defending his title against Mike Lee on the Pacquiao versus Thurman undercard July 20th at the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. So it's just an exciting time and I can't wait to get the day started, so let's go. On our way to cover the Caleb versus Mike Lee fight. for the Jose fight. As far as in the gym, on the track, in the weight room, you name it, I've done a part of this camp and better this camp than I did my last camp. So uh, I'm not taking this lightly. I'll keep telling you guys, I'm not the hunted. Just because I have a world title, I'm still the hunter. It was not the goal to become a world champion. It was just a goal. Um, I'm looking to become the first undisputed super middleweight champion in the history of boxing. And you don't get that way by overlooking people. I know every fighter y'all ever get in front of, they tell you the same thing, that this has been the best camp. Um, but I think that uh, my word is reputable. I think anything I've ever said in the past, I've stood behind. And it's came to fruition. It's been for real. And so if I tell you guys it's been my best camp, I'm going to take it to the bank. So, I mean, I'm 18 and up. That's it. I only got 18 fights. I just turned 27 Monday. So I'm still young in the game. I've been in this game for a long time. I've accomplished a lot in this game, not just in the pro, but the amateurs. But just because I won a world title, that doesn't mean that we don't stop. You know, that we stop trying to get better. Um, whether it's in the weight room getting stronger, whether it's on the track, whether it's knocking, you know, seconds and minutes off my mile runs or, you know, adding uh, more rounds in uh, the boxing gym and whatever it may be, uh, bringing in better sparring partners. Um, so I'm just, I'm better all around because my whole team is, working towards getting better all the way around. Uh, none of us has got, have gotten complacent. Your LA press conference speech was probably like one of the best speeches I ever heard at a press conference. What went into preparing for that speech on that level? Um, I didn't really prepare for it. I just spoke from my heart. So um, I said what I meant. I meant what I said. Um, you know, I had a couple key points jot it down but for the most part that was just me saying what was real that wasn't me getting up there and just talking a bunch of mess or a bunch of nonsense uh i'm pretty sure i was up there stating facts stuff mm -hmm. that people cannot argue with so um I wasn't really prepared. afterwards there was a clip of him really angry about what you were saying about attacking his character was that a goal of yours to get under his skin or um it wasn't a, I was, again, I wasn't up there talking mess. I wasn't up there talking mm -hmm. nonsense. I was just up there stating facts. Mm -hmm. So if what I said got under his skin, it may be for a reason. So uh, mm -hmm. he, he can be mad all he wants. So do something about it. I may reside in uh, Las Vegas now, but Nashville is still my home. Um, so I'm, I'm proud to be where I'm from and do what I've done. I feel somewhat of a trailblazer doing what I've done. Um, and uh, I just, Really appreciate all the continued support and uh, people reaching out. As far as being a student in the game, I, that's all I do is eat, sleep, and breathe boxing. In my spare time, that's all I do is watch fights. Everyone knows my fiance Jordan, a boxing reporter. So this is really all we do. This is all we talk about. We love it. We don't get tired of it. I don't really have too many outside hobbies. I just love boxing. 